Hello everyone. Do you know that now we can show your flow's progress by writing a simple aura component which will track the flow stages and display the progress? So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can configure this quickly in your flow. So without any further delay, let's get started. So to display your flow's progress with the flow stages, the first thing that you need to do, you need to write an aura component. And the good part is like you suppose already provide the code which you can just you know copy paste and create this aura component. So the code is there in this link, which is you know it's already provided by Salesforce. And I'm going to put the link in my blog post, and my blog post link will be definitely there in the in the description of this video. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create an aura component. Actually, you know, for the, I've already created the aura component and I'm just going to show you what I have done. So let me bring my VS Studio code here. So what I've done, I've created an aura component called display progress. So this aura component is having this component file. And basically what I've done, I just copied this code I have not done any changes, just copy this code in this component here. Then there is an attribute which I have copied in design document, uh, in, in design file. Just copy paste this, this, comp, this, code, this piece of code. Then there is a style, uh, style code which I have copied in that CSS file. And finally the controller, again no changes, just copy paste this code in the controller. Once this is done, my component, the my aura component is, get, is ready. So basically what this component is going to do is going to read the stages which I'm going to create in my flow in a, in, 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 in a few minutes now. It's going to read my, read my stages and it is going to show the stages kind of a progress bar in the flow screen. Uh, so it's basically, you know, if I, if you are familiar with the opportunity, if you go to the any opportunity, you see this nav, you see this one. It's basically tracking the opportunity stages and showing the stages in this way. It's a kind, it's a very visual. Uh, it's a very good way of showing in which stage opportunities. And the good part is now you can have the same thing in your visual flow. So what I'm going to do. Once my, since my, you know, aura component is already ready, which is like display progress. What I'm going to do, I am going to go to the setup. And in the setup, in the quick find, I'm going to search for flow, open up this flow. And let me create a new flow. It will be a screen flow. And let me put the auto layout. So the first thing that I'll do, I'll create stages. So for this demo, let's say we have three stages. The first stage is all about about all about, you know, first stage name is about me. Second stage name is update, uh, upload a photo or upload photo. And third stage is like update address. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create three stages. So if I click on new resources from the resource type, I'll select stage. And the first stage is about me. Let me give it an order 10 and check this box active by default. This is my first stage. Let me create my second stage, which is upload photo. And let me give it a name order of 20. And again, it's, it is also an active stage. Let me create my third stage, which is update address. And I'm going to give it an order of 30 and default. That's good. So with all the three stages created, the first thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a screen element. And let me put this screen one. And I don't need to show the header, so get rid of the header thing. And this is my component, this is my aura component. So in this one, uh, on this left hand side, in the under the custom, you'll find your aura component. So drag and drop your aura component here, give it a name. So 
I'm giving this display progress underscore one. So you can give any name in the current stage. What you need to do is type flow and select this global variable flow. And then uh, you will find there is a variable called current stage. That's what you need to select here. Under the stages, what you need to do again, search for flow and then active stages done. Then this this will actually be, this will basically create your first screen. Now, when you'll go to the next screen, like you know, from your uh, about me screen to the update screen, what you need to do, you need to you need to change your current stage from stage one to the stage two or about me stage from about me stage to the update at this stage. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create an assignment update to stage two. Here, what I'm going to do flow current stage, I'm going to update the flow current stage to my update address. Then I'm going to create my second screen element. Let me put this screen to again, I don't need to show the header. And again, I'm going to drag and drop this component here, give it a name, which has to be a unique name. In the current stage, again, the same thing, flow, current stage, in the stages, it should display all active stages, done. Let's do the same thing for the last stage, which is, I'm gonna create an assignment, update to page three, here, flow current stage equals to, it should be my update address. I think I've done update, oh, it should not be update address, it should be upload photo because that's my second st stage, right? So my second stage is all about upload photo. So in this one, the, the second, the first assignment, when you go from the screen one to the screen two, in between you need to update your current stage to upload photo, which is basically your stage two. Now, when you go from stage two to stage three, you need to do an, another assignment, which will change your current stage to update address. And this is this assignment update address and now if I put my third screen which is screen three I don't need to show the header display progress give it a name In this one flow current stage and flow active stages done let me save this one. Okay, you can give it any name. And then uh, without activate, you can always do a debug. So if I click on debug, uh, this is the way you can debug your flow. So now run. The first is about me, that's your first stage. If I click on next, it goes to upload photo. If I go click on next, it go, goes to the last stage. And if I click on finish, that's my flow. So it's really a cool feature that you can show uh, the flow progress visually, and it will definitely a great user experience, right? Now, the, now, while, while working on this one, I faced few challenges, which I want to show you here. So now let me run this one again. I'm on my first screen. I click on next. I go to my next screen. Now what will happen if I go back from this screen to the previous screen? If I click previous now, I'm getting an error. The delimiter of about me stage is missing. This is a, this is a typical error that we are, you know, you will get uh, if you, if you click previous or if you have any kind of validation in your screen and like a screen validation and if you click on next, then validation will not work and you will be presented with this error message. So now to solve this error message, what basically you need to do, this is something that Salesforce recommended. So on each screen where you have your flow component, right? 
on your on your aura component you have this option manually assign variables right just check this box do not put anything here and click done do the same thing for rest of your screen where you have your uh, this new aura component select the aura component check manually assign variables but do not set any this any of this current stage or let it be blank and let me do the same thing for the screen three here do not set anything here click on done now let's save this as a new version and if i do the debug now about me i can go to go to the next stage which is upload photo but this time if i click on previous it will go to the previous screen without having any problem so that's that's something i just want to mention because you may face this problem and uh, with this one now you know what you need to do to uh, handle your previous and the next screen so that's all that's 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 a very small thing that you need to do to configure this one and this is definitely going to give you a better ui experience when you enable this flow uh, or, or or when you expose this flow for your end users be it in the community be it in internal salesforce it will definitely going to give you a better user experience so i'm going to put the link of my blog post in the description of this video and if you like this video please like and share with others also you can subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get the instant notification on all my future videos thank you